Hello and welcome to another episode on this channel. Remember, this is the part two of, of the series where I'm talking about the rules of safe real estate investment in Nigeria. The 10 rules of real estate or safe real estate investment in Nigeria. I already talked about number one to five in the last episode I'm going to be talking about. And I'm going to be talking about number six to 10 in this particular episode. If you haven't checked out that episode where I talked about number one to five, you would want to really, really check them out through the link that is um, attached to this video. All right. And yes, my name is Raymond Dijoma and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in Nigeria. And I'm super, super excited to bring this your way. You want to check out other videos in this channel so that you wouldn't miss out on our educative materials, content is powering and you know, you, you get the gist, right? Okay, so number six, never, ever get into real estate transactions without involving your lawyer. Never, ever get into real estate transactions without involving your lawyer. Even if I wasn't a lawyer, I believe strongly that I would still say this. Because uh, you... you the, the, the way real estate transactions, I remember that real estate transactions are generally capital intensive. There's a lot of money involved. So you really want to be careful when you are you are investing. And, and you don't, you can't ever separate property transactions from law, all right, or property lawyers property transactions and property lawyers. You, you, there's no separation between both parties because the law is intertwined in property transactions. Every property transaction has its legal angle. So buying a property without involving a lawyer is like maybe flying a plane or choosing to want to or deciding to fly to to in a plane by yourself without involving a pilot. Something like that. Something like that, all right? So, uh, the, the basic point is, I'm not going to overemphasize this. The basic point is never get into real estate transactions without involving a lawyer. There are a lot, a lot of stories I've told on this channel or in the videos on this channel where I've shared series of stories where clients have had issues and uh, before involving a lawyer. There are so many times I've told the client, haven't made payment, the client comes to me and, and, and presents title documents or the alleged title documents and I tell them to go back. That is there's something wrong with the title documents. And some of them go back and find out the read through. Some of them go back and start re re requesting for a fund because something um, certainly was wrong with the, 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 the document. So Basically, and that is the breach of number one rule that you don't make payments until until certain things have been satisfied. A lot of things or certain questions have been satisfactorily answered. Okay, so basically, never get into real estate transactions without involving your lawyer. Number seven, always communicate the purpose of a land before you go ahead to buy it. If you're buying from an agent, you're buying from from an individual or anybody try to or you're buying through an agent or a real estate company like fortune Real limited do well to to let them know the purpose generally from our end at fortune Real limited we always ask for the purpose so some some three weeks ago um, um, someone reached out for from a referral outside the state and wanted to buy a property uh, and the first thing what, what do you want to do with the property he said he wanted it for a hotel as well as um, an event center. And I'm like, great, great. The, the reason for asking such questions is because there are some properties or some structures that you can't build in some areas. There are places that you don't just go and start building a store. There are places that you don't just go and start building a hotel or or an event center. There are some places that are exclusively for residential purposes. Right? There's just government planning. And part of the reasons that you may want to find that even though you maybe have taken certain steps is to have it in mind that, okay, even if I buy this land here, I may have to apply to get approval to have uh, uh, a commercial structure erected in this kind of place. So you want to really find out more about that. And number eight, never leave property transactions to trust Never leave property transactions to trust. Ensure all legal systems are in place. 
I say this a lot, especially to Nigerians in diaspora who, for some reasons, cannot set for for obvious reasons, cannot be in Nigeria um, uh, for a particular transaction, and they, they want to invest through their relations or friends or families or whoever, and and most of them just leave everything to trust and maybe chance. They leave a lot of things to chance, or virtually everything to chance, and that doesn't make any sense because there could be issues that would arise because of such dealings. So my advice to so the rule I'm sharing with you here is ensure, always ensure, never leave everything to trust. Or, oh, he's my friend, he's my brother. No. Ensure that all legal systems are put in place to checkmate, ensure that trust is, is, is remains intact. And even if there's a breach of that trust, the legal system will be able to checkmate. The, the trust or the breach of trust. And number nine, never leave your original documents with people who have nothing to lose if anything goes wrong. One of the reasons that, especially for those in diaspora, get to lose their property transactions or get their property sued without their knowledge is because they leave the original documents with their siblings or relations in Nigeria. Or some person just keep their title documents anywhere. And just keep it and anybody could just pick it up and, and you know so it that's an important rule you want to really obey and number 10 never carry out property transactions especially a purchase in a hurry never ever ever carry out property transactions especially when you are buying um, in a hurry if you are doing that you 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 may be maybe designing an issue for yourself or a problem for yourself because you want to calm down. You want to be calming down. You want to, you really want to do it with patience. I, I just client that reached out to me. The first phrase in his mind was, if he said it was, um, someone referred it to me. I want to, I want to, I want, I want two or three plots of land today or tomorrow. And the first the response I gave to him was, sir, I don't do land transactions in a hurry. I really would take my time. And I said, okay, no problem. Today, this week, next week, just let me know. And, and that was it. Okay, so never, never carry out property transactions, especially when you want to purchase a land in a hurry. Take your time. The money is there. Of course, you want to, there are some, at some point where, yeah, it's a marketing strategy. It's a discount, all right? Um, the discount offer ends in the next three days. You want to grab it. Uh, so that you don't but in the midst of the discount so to take your time you may want to okay let's enter a contract of sale agreement a contract of sale basically a sale of land where yes i could i could take um grab the opportunity uh, to show commitment but while i show i'm showing commitment through signing a, a contract of sale uh, I, I would have time to now investigate my property or invest the property i'm going to make a lot of money i mean make a lot of payment for uh, pay a lot for all right so you just want to reach out to your lawyer to to know the strategies that you want to employ and all of that so basically these are the 10 rules of 10 rules of safe real estate investment in nigeria like i said i don't know whether it's in the beginning or in the in the, in the end of the last episode there are more rules i get to develop every day uh, in the course of transacting or carrying out transactions with clients and as i keep on um, continue, or generally continue in the real estate industry, I'm going to also continue adding to these rules. And you want to stay on this channel so you don't miss out on any video I upload, whether I respect to these rules or any other educative, inspiring, or opportunity-sharing videos that I bring your way. Remember, my name is Raymond Ijoma, and I'm a real estate entrepreneur as well as a property lawyer here in Nigeria. And remember, all this is powered by Fortune Ray limited you want to share this video you want to like the video you want to drop a comment if you have one reach out if you have questions or inquiry to make and don't forget to share this with a friend all right bye bye